Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. People's National Party Chairman Pitts Jackson says the new party president should be settled by year-end. Incumbent Dr. Peter Phillips has indicated that he will resign as soon as a replacement is selected. In the meantime, Lisa Hanna has retained the St. Anne Southeastern constituency for the PNP. At the end of the judicial recount today, Hanna received 5,150 votes to the Jamaica Labour Party's Delroy Granston's 5,119. The Education Ministry has established an Education COVID-19 Management Task Force eCOVID. Portfolio Minister Fable Williams says the task force will arrive at a consensus on the reopening and management of schools amid the pandemic. Several sections along the Stony Hill to Tom's River Main Road in St. Andrew were left inaccessible following landslides in Brandon Hill. The National Works Agency says the land slippages began on Monday and it has been responding since then. In sports, former Track Federation President Lamine Diak has been sentenced to two years in prison for his role in a scheme that allowed Russian athletes who paid hush money to keep competing when they should have been suspended for doping. Diak has also been sentenced to another two years of suspended jail time and fined $590,000 U.S. dollars. In your currency trading today, one U.S. dollar was being sold for $143.04, the British pound sterling for $182.36, and the Canadian dollar for $111.34. In your weather forecast, Thursday will see morning showers and possible thunderstorms across northeastern and southern parishes. In the afternoon, there will be widely scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms across northern and southwestern parishes. And that's it for the Green Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.